decided as the superintendent to continue the asterisk program because it was very successful and one of the things the board, our board of education wanted when Dr. Wright left was to have continuity of programs that would benefit students that we had done. We didn't want to start all over with other things. We wanted to continue doing what we were doing. So we were very excited that we could continue, even expand this program. There's even more mentors in it this summer than there's ever has been. And that's what we want to do is continue to grow it because it's a very successful program. I decided to mentor the Asterix program as I found it would be a great opportunity not only to teach the skills that I have, but also to learn from the students as well. Oftentimes we get so into our own jobs, we fail to see how we can play a larger role to help out the community. And the best way to do it is to have these students um, move forward and learn from observing, learn from hands-on, and learn from just gaining the experience that will really help them out in the future. I work in film and television outside of uh, being a teacher and uh, it's my dream, it's the kind of environment that I like, it's my passion movies. So in being able to teach videography, being able to work with interns who many of them want to have careers in entertainment um, is very exciting because it's sort of a dream come true scenario and plus I'm getting paid for it. One of the things that we emphasize strongly during the summer Asterix Summer Program is college and career readiness. Uh, and one of the resources that we use for our Friday class is Virtual Job Shadow, where students are able to actually see and experience to some degree what their career choice actually looks like. I decided to mentor in the Asterix Program because when I was younger, I had relatives and I had parents that mentored me. And I know how important that is to have someone take an interest in you when you're younger and help them develop skills that they didn't even know were possible. So it, it really is uh, beneficial for people that are experienced and uh, have skills to help others get those skills. I joined the Asterix program to get more of a professional view of um, how being in the workforce would be. I joined the Asterix because I want to have some work experience because I never had any or I never had a job, so I want to get some experience. I joined it because I didn't know it existed last year and I thought it was cool because all my friends did it and they all had like cool jobs and I was like, I never like actually had a job and like it's a good opportunity because since I never had a job I had no experience going into college and I want to pursue a leadership role there and for that you have to have a certain amount of like activities for your resume. And this counts as a good one for, for it. I joined the program to give me basically a head start and see how it is to be in the workforce. Maybe extra help because nowadays it's pretty hard to get a job in this environment. Being a mentor has helped me by allowing myself to see what skills I'm able to teach. At the same time to see what kind of attitude can I show the students uh, and what importance that plays in their careers, in their life choices, on anything, even outside of technology. Being a mentor has helped me tremendously. Um, number one, in an unexpected way, was I have actually acquired crew members. This is the second year that I've done the asterisk um, video. I was invited last year by Dr. White to do it. Jesse Jones is a kid that I met last year who had just graduated high school. He's now in college. And we've worked together now on multiple projects outside of uh, this job. I also brought on another student that I worked with last year who's worked for me as a cameraman, as an editor. So I've actually been able to find crew members through the Asterisk program. I kind of train them, and it's like a trial period. And if we work together well, then, then I have work for them later. I think it will benefit me because, I mean, it will look good on your resume, and also it would help you get out there, like, and it would show your employers that like, wow, you know, he worked with electronics so he knows what he's doing. Like, so like, if anything ever messes up, then you got it. I think it benefits me because it is kind of like a business, business background. And since that's what I want to do as one of my majors, since I'm double majoring, um, I think it'll benefit me in like the business aspect to get like the behind the scenes of what happens. Um, one of the skills I'm actually trying to teach him is being able to be more social, going out to the city and talking about what the library provides by breaking out of their box.
I actually took two of my interns out to the Tyler Mall in Riverside to get a little outreach experience by requiring, acquiring donations for our summer reading program. They were very nervous, but they did an excellent job at the end of the day. So it's more of showing them how to be interactive. We have two interns here in our office and I'm teaching them about leadership, about how to uh, respond to situations. I, I bring them to different meetings with me and I model to them and demonstrate how people communicate and how we work together to resolve issues. Um, this program will benefit me in multiple ways. One way is to have good connections with the people in the district. Another way is to learn how to communicate better and like meet new people, especially when you're with Kids Euro, you meet a lot of different people. When, when it comes to skill sets, we're looking to teach our interns um, not only how to work with computers, but also how to, how to work with people. The best part is communicating with everyone, working in teams, and incorporating what, whatever we have learned for the day into the work we do. Uh, this program, I got a lot of learn how to learn softwares. I learned how to use different cameras, and I learned how to edit pictures, transitions, a lot of good technical stuff with this program. One skill I've learned so far is seeing beyond like the just the display because um when you walk, walk into business you just see what they give you but uh, now that I've worked here I see what goes on in the back so much detail and it's kind of a skill that helps me out because it it's, it, it lets me know how hard it is to work here multitasking a lot of multitasking. I believe the most valuable trait an employer looks to in somebody they're looking to hire isn't particularly a skill set, but more importantly, attitude. I think attitude will have the biggest impact, not only in the job that you do, but in the life that you lead. And if you have that positive attitude, if you have that, that gung-ho um, uh, view on life, you know, the excellence on purpose, shine a little brighter, that will really help them become successful in their future careers. It's the humility to learn, understanding that we make mistakes and you're not going to argue or come up with excuses. You just simply acknowledge the mistake that you made, learn from it, and move on. So that humility to learn is critical. Uh, my plan is to work for a major stocks and bonds company and be a CEO of that company. After, well, starting the summer, I plan to attend Cal State San Marcos, majoring in nursing. I want to go to a four-year college or university, and I want to major in creative writing or English. Well, I think it's really important that all the people that are involved in this program, the mentees and the mentors, know that everyone began somewhere. And so you need to just persevere, keep going, keep working on it, and never give up.